What do you get when two construction worlds combine? Or let me ask the question a different way. Did you ever expect takeoff measuring of plans and the estimating process becoming one? Well, wait no further. The time has arrived where the two worlds become one. Yes, the planets are in alignment. Hi, I'm Perry Ryder with Action Associates, Senior Estimating Consultant. With my 45 years of estimating experience, I've seen so many people measure their plans first, performing the takeoff process, and actually doing the estimating process a different day, or later in the day, regarding pricing, waste factors, production rates, conversions, and so on. Those two different processes actually stretches out the estimating time and impacts accuracy. One of the most common requests I've heard from customers is, can we integrate measuring with the estimating software? Well, guess what? Yes, that has become a reality with Sage Estimating along with eTakeoff Dimension and Bridge. Those products are tightly integrated with each other so that when you finish measuring the plans, your detailed estimate is automatically done to your standards, ready for review. Listen again. When you finish measuring the plans, your detailed estimate is automatically done to your standards, ready for review. No other product on the market today can actually do that. Take a quick look at this and see for yourself. I'd like to show you what's running right now. And as you can tell at the top of the screen, it's the eTakeoff Dimension measuring program. Uh, and we also have the next piece of software, which is the integration piece that integrates the takeoff with the estimating. It's called the bridge. And then, of course, we've got Sage Estimating. There's nothing in the estimating system right this moment because we haven't really done the takeoff yet. So let's go back to eTakeoff. And I want to do, uh, give you the highlights of the screen of what you're looking at. Now, I just want you to know that for this presentation uh, for the internet, we I'm very much zoomed in on the whole screen, uh, which by uh, by result, it gives us a, a, a smaller drawing, but I wanted you to be able to see everything. So that's why these areas are, are a bit larger for you to be able to view. Uh, and so we, we start here with our takeoff, and um, you, you, you have your drawings. Of course, I'm on a specific sheet, and you could just go to different sheets uh, if you'd like. And, um, I'm starting off here on the foundation plan. I have to say, well, I have to take off maybe some concrete. So if I uh, uh, hit these little plus buttons, and these are all customizable. These are called traces. And the traces are basically uh, measuring pieces, your takeoff items that you need a measurement for, but it's actually connected or integrated with your Sage Estimating. And so when I double click on it, look what happens on the right hand side of the screen back over here. It shows you the results screen. So as you click around on the screen in this in this active mode, you might say, uh, and take a look at what's happening here. It, you can see it's 190 feet of this 1224 footing. I'm going to hit enter to terminate that piece right there. And then, of course, if I want to take off a spread footing. I could come back over here, choose the type of spread footing that I want. I'm just going to uh, pick out this six uh, six foot square, 14 inches thick. I'm just going to click over here. And if you have more, of course, you just click as wherever you have to put in that, um, that footing uh, and so on. And so you can see I have four and that one is done. Um, and at, at likewise, if I want to put it now a slab on grade plus, and I just double click on the four and slab on grade. If I want it to float in between this foundation wall, I'm just clicking. Um, um, now, hold on a second. I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, starting this way and just take a look. And as you see, I'm just going around. And when I'm done, bingo, it's 4,204 square feet. Uh, and uh, let's see where else I'm going to go. So I could just now jump into maybe um, that. Maybe I'll just jump to the next page and I'll just hit the page down. If I want to just uh, uh, take off maybe some uh, 8816 uh, concrete block walls or CMU walls with number fours at 48 inches on center. I just double click on that and just take a quick look. I'm just going to click on around this exterior wall and and maybe I'm going to go all the way to there and I'm going to hit uh, that button or a, or a G for grouping it and, and maybe I'm going to go from there to there and so on. And you just keep on going and when you're done you could see it, uh, it's all uh, accumulating over here and now I might say well that's a uh, you know, 12 foot high and by virtue of doing that it's telling me that the total square footage of that wall is 3263 square feet up uh, when I'm done I just continue just browse on down and maybe I want to put a ceiling in here uh, and so if I go to finishes and I go get maybe a um, 
acoustical ceiling, suspended ceiling that's two by two with tegular tile. Just double click on it. And I'm just gonna click on the inside of that wall and we're dropping in a ceiling right over there. And it happens to be 4,147 square feet. Enter, done. Uh, and uh, maybe I wanna go to the next sheet, page down, and I'll just zoom back out real quick so you can actually see what I'm doing. And maybe I'm gonna take off some drywall walls with metal studs, 5 8 inch uh, fire rated. So double click it and I'll take a look what I'm doing over here. I'm just clicking on these walls. And as you can see, it's 107 feet. Again, I could put a nine foot high wall and it automatically calculates. And there you go. So as you see, everything is now done. Uh, I mean, of course you could go and take off other items as well. I could take off some, you know, some curb and gutter. If you have curb and gutter, I'll just double click. I'll just for fun, just come out over here and say, I've got some curb and gutter out, out over here. I've got 168 foot and that's in there. So it doesn't matter what it is that you're taking off. You just identify what it is. And now we're able to hit the bridge button. And what the bridge button is doing, it's flashing back over here. It shows you it's synchronizing and it, it's actually seeing that I've got all these different type of takeoff items at this point. I've, I've measured them and they're ready to go over to estimating. And we hit the automatic button, that button over there, and it's actually sending these takeoff items to the estimating program. I'll just hit okay. So now that we sent the takeoff items to the estimate, now we could actually hit this down arrow and go to the estimate and here it launches our estimate and we could look at it by what we call assembly order because a lot of those takeoff items were assemblies like this like the spread footing and the um the, the strip footing and the slab on grade and so on uh, you see all those all those different type of items uh and so there's different ways obviously to look at this you could look at it by assembly uh, or the reference uh, to the way um with the reference as to where this assembly was part of right over there uh, and so on. Uh, not, likewise, you could actually look at it by division, uh, and we could look at it this way, or we could look at it by a, you know, a summary level, and you can actually see that. You could collapse it in you know, 48 division level. Obviously, we only have up to 32, uh, 32 levels deep so far, but of course, if, and of course you could see that, that's your curb and gutter that was generated, and, and so on, and of course, you could actually see your totals over here. Your, your, your cost over here, labor, material, and equipment, cost plus your markups, whatever markups you like, to your selling price or your, your, your retail number, you might say. And that is showing you the complete integration between e-take off the bridge and Sage Estimating, all done automatically. Well, there you have it. Can you believe this technology is here today? The combination of the takeoff process automatically with the estimating process is only done by Sage Estimating and E-Takeoff. Don't wait a minute longer. Contact me or one of our sales professionals here at Action Associates to get you started today. Thank you for your time today, and I'm Perry Ryder.